All right, guys, here we go. Making another, I guess, vlog video. Um, 67 F100. I did have the cab on. I did have the C6 back here uh, attached to the motor, but honestly, I don't know why. Um, went ahead and took everything off because I just remembered kind of a bad time to remember uh, go ahead I mean since the truck is taken apart go ahead and replace the rear main seal um, I looked at it and it is uh, leaking a little bit let me show you so that right there gonna go ahead and replace also the the previous owner if y'all can see this right here look at this this is the gasket that just hanging off the side what they just tore i just barely touched it i just um from the oil pan so the oil pan is gonna have to be taken off and replaced <clears throat> so that's where we're at All right, I went to the yard and uh, you never guess what I got these two leather seats uh, out of. I actually got them out of a 2012, I believe, uh, Ford Escape. Um, it was half price off weekend because it was Memorial Day weekend. And uh, man, $23 and one cent is what I had to pay for them out the door. Um, man, I was, I was super excited. I actually went to the yard to go get a, a, a whole bunch of other parts, but unfortunately they didn't have, uh, cause a lot of the parts that I, I, I'm using are off of, uh, 80, 87, 87 through 96 F-150s, F-250s, whatever. Um, I'm using a lot of parts from those year trucks to put in this one. And, uh, well, actually the motor came out of an 88 F250, as, uh, some of y'all might know. And, um, uh, so I was just looking at a bunch of small stuff. I was missing some screws from the upper intake. I was looking for some of those screws, um, which is these right here. So I only have, uh, three of these. So one, two, three, and I'm missing three. So... I was looking for those. Uh, I forgot what else. I have a list. Um, every time that I go to the yard, before I go to the yard, I make a list. And a couple days prior, make sure that I have everything that I that I need to try to figure out what I need from the yard. And uh, unfortunately, the only thing I was able to get from the yard that specific day, or well, yesterday, um, was these seats. And uh, that's what I got. All right, as y'all could already tell, I can see I already put the cab back on the truck, but before I did any of that, um, after I replaced the rear main seal, um, I went ahead and unbolted the motor from the motor mount. I used this engine hoist, went ahead and picked up the motor pretty high, replaced the gasket. Uh, before I put the, the pan back on, I made sure everything was clean. It had a little bit of gunk in there, so I cleaned it up real good and made sure that nothing was damaged on the bottom of the motor and put everything back together, put the transmission um married it with with the with the motor and um, put the cab back on so everything was good on that so what i have going on right now um after i put this cab on i did unbolt the top well actually well, the top intake and the lower intake because you have to see it's loose right now and i went ahead and, and cleaned up the valley um, lifted everything. Everything looks good. Um, even, eventually, I will be replacing the flat tap with the hydraulic roller lifters, and um, you know, just gonna change out a bunch of stuff on this truck because something I want to show y'all right now that um, pretty expensive. I'm not gonna go into detail. The only thing I, I am gonna tell y'all is this truck is going to be a high horsepower truck and um, we got some things I'm going to show y'all right now 
All right, real quick, got the windshield, which is pretty hard to find. Got the weather stripping for around the doors, all the rubber seals for the windshield back window and this big box. And I also have side rear view mirrors, two of them. <clears throat> this box, I do have uh, my, my paint gun and everything from Eastwood that I'm, I'm going to use to paint the truck, of course. And I got some extra tips in there. Um, this box, I do have master cylinder, brake booster. I am going that route, I'm not going those manual brakes. Eventually, I will change the front to, uh, to rotors. So, <clears throat> and here's your trick flow heads. These are, I'm not going to take them out of the package. These are twisted wedge 11 R heads. I know it's upside down, sorry. And I uh, went with 190 cc. I uh, did want to go 205, but kind of stupid to be talking about budget when you're buying stuff like this. But uh, within within budget, I couldn't afford those. So I just get these because uh, I am trying to save money but still have this truck looking good so i do have an alternator coming it's supposed to be here today that uh i'm gonna be putting it. it's not gonna be one of those cheesy what is it 65 75 amp uh alternators that originally came on the 88 um uh, ford f-series trucks uh i did buy a 92 Ford Taurus brand new alternator because those alternators put out 130 amps and uh, they're straight bolt on except right here I'm going to have to cut a groove in here with the grinder but that's it other than that straight bolt on a um, little bit little wire differences not major not anything stupid but that's where we're going with that well, all right, y'all. I guess that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and close the video. I was just a quick update on uh, where I am with this build. Um, maybe I might start doing a little bit of, I don't know, showing y'all how I'm doing this. But uh, I don't know. Somebody let me know which I want. But other than that, I'll just continue these slight vlogs or whatever. Um, I need to do it. I need to start doing one a week at least instead of like one a month but yeah that's where we're at with this project well i'll take care go fix something peace out